Ford Field in Detroit. It's week one of the NFL on EA Sports. Seating capacity is 65,000 at Ford Field, and we are right around that number today. A good crowd on hand and seemingly ready to go in the Motor City. Both teams emerging from the Ford Field tunnels just a short time ago, and of course the loudest cheers were reserved for the hometown Lions. They're set to go as they will match up with the Chicago Bears. Good friend Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gaudin, and Charles, we have arrived at another new season. Had a little more pep in my step this morning. <laughs> I know you did as well. Here we go. Yeah, when you went out for your five-mile jog, you were flying. <laughs> you did it in record time because you were psyched up about this game. But let's be frank about it. No more radio shows. No more podcasts. No more just predicting what's going to happen. Now we get to see it on the field. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And no run back on this one. So the new season will begin at the 25-yard line. Mitchell Trubisky taking the field to lead Chicago. Trubisky, the Ohio native, went to North Carolina, then drafted by these Bears as the number two pick in 2017. We've seen a lot of ups and downs in the young career of Mitchell Trubisky. Three years with the Chicago Bears, and he's a young quarterback still learning on the job. But what numbers do you trust with him? This is the receiver turned running back, Cordero Patterson. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Now a quick slant as the throw is complete. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. Complete to Anthony Miller. A gain of 19 yards. How about a guy proving his worth in different ways? Had the big play in the run game play before. This time, they go right back to him in the passing game, and he comes through with yet another big play. That's why you work out so hard in the offseason, so you can stay on the field and accumulate big plays. And boy, showing how tough he can be to bring down, just fighting his way forward to pick up seven yards. It's a gain of seven. Brings up second and From just shy of midfield, Trubisky. And now he's going to use his legs. Trubisky on the keeper. A gain of 13 yards. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. Out of the gun, Trubisky. And Graham's got it. Complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Another nice gain, 16 yards there at a first down again. 16 yards. Well, I haven't met an NFL player yet that doesn't use criticism as an edge, and Jimmy Graham has heard that a number of people think he's near the end of his career. He didn't put up the numbers he should have put up in Green Bay with Aaron Rodgers. I think he's going to put a huge chip on his shoulder. Nice catch there. And he wants to show flashes of that form that he exhibited early in his career with New Orleans and Seattle. Ten more for him on that one. He's been a busy man. It's a first down. They'll try and run for him first and goal. And only about a yard there as he takes it from the nine to the eight. Harry for the running back. His passing's been on point on this drive, hasn't it? Been very accurate. Got the ball downfield, gained nice chunks of yardage. But now, in this situation, the field is really condensed, partner. So if he's going to throw the football, that could be pinpoint here. So I was going to ask you about that. Field shrinks, has to be sharper, but it's been a good opening drive so far. Now they just want to see if they can cap it off with the bell ringer and put it in the end zone. That time the completion goes for four yards, and we're set up with a third and goal. 
And Miller will pull this one in. He's got it for the Bears. Touchdown. To Anthony Miller. A five-yard touchdown catch. And the Bears take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. A long opening drive, but a very successful opening drive. We call that methodical, I guess, when it takes that many plays. Methodical and almost like a boxing match where you're hitting them with body blows. They can withstand them here. Look, they gave up the touchdown, but you don't feel like a knockout is there. But they keep doing that in the fourth quarter. That's where the knockout occurs. Yeah, it becomes tough for that defense if they're on the field that long. We'll see if they can continue that in future drives. Point after, right down the middle. And that makes the score 7-0. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. across the 20 but not much further as he's dropped at the 23 yard line we see matthew stafford the one-time georgia bulldog set to pilot the offense of the detroit lions when i think of matthew stafford in detroit i think of numbers and i mean passing numbers 40,000 yards passed in his career last year before back injury landed him on the ir after just eight games and to show his value to the team the Lions lost all eight games started by either Jeff Driscoll or David Brown. They need a healthy Matthew Stafford in order to compete in the NFC North. Roquan Smith, the Bears' leading tackler last season, makes the stop. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. It's third and ten. Throwing on third down, Stafford. Nearly a turnover there on their opening drive. That's a throw we'd like to have back. Fourth down. Jack third down is a key down in any game you play. Third down defense, something we've got to watch in this one. Got to be effective on the passing downs. That's a pretty good first step right there. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And the Bears take over. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. They have to be thrilled with that first drive. They got them the touchdown. Now they'll be looking to make it a two-score advantage here on the road. And you know they spent all week in practice, in meetings, talking about taking an early advantage. Being the road team, going up a score, that takes the crowd out of the game and puts some doubt in the minds of their opponents. First and ten, it's Trubisky. It's brought in by Harris. Three yards the game there, second down. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Brings up second and seven at the 35. A shotgun handoff to Patterson, and he'll get up to the 43-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. On first down, Trubisky quickly into the hands of Robinson. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. A gain there, 12 yards and a first down for the Bears. They'll run on first down. It's Patterson. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. A gain of three, second down. A three-yard pickup brings up second and seven at the 41-yard line. They go play action with Trubisky. Well, this is caught by Ginn. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. First down. On first down, Patterson. And a five-yard gain as he's down inside the feet of the 28-yard line. He was brought to the 28. It's second and five. A gain of five brings up second and five. From the shotgun is Trubisky. This is Miller, complete. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. Complete to Anthony Miller. An eight-yard pickup 
First down, Bears. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. With the score, Bears seven, Lions nothing. Tangle Danny Shelton there to swallow him up. It's a pickup of three. Brings up on second down now. It's Patterson. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. It's a gain of six. On third down, Patterson. And he's able to pick up the first down before he's tackled right at the 10. Just a yard, but that's all they needed. And by the slimmest of margins, it'll be first and goal. And we tend to give those running backs that are slashers a lot of credit, but how about guys who are maulers? Because that's what you want in short yardage situations. And we just saw that occur right there, didn't we? Vertical, downhill running. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. got the speed to get downfield, Charles, but there's the negative side, a little loose with the football that time. And that's normal, especially when you have his type of talents because you feel like you're into the open field and maybe you don't feel the people who are around you or closing in. All quarterbacks have to do extra ball security drills with the way the game's played now because defenses, they attack the football as much as they attack the runner. Start the drive on the ground with Johnson. They'll try to get forward, but he's going to be stopped in his tracks at about the three. Now we're going to get a stoppage. There appears to be an injured bear on the field. Oh, hate to see this. Week one of the season. We'll be back. Here's second and ten. Stafford going to give this one off to Johnson. And he'll get this up past the five to the seven-yard line. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. It's a gain of four. Brings up third and six. To throw on third down. Stafford, screen play. Johnson. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Five yards on the screen, but that'll take us to fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. Do you like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion, and what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the offense will take over with a new set of downs. 42 yard line. The Bears offense led by Mitch Trubisky heading back out there. He's played a pretty clean first half, a touchdown, no interceptions. Frankly, that's what they expect out of him. They want to see the ball thrown and thrown well, and he's able to do that and put it in the end zone. They'd love to see more of that before this game finishes. But right now, he's got his team in a good spot. A good spot, maybe looking for touchdown pass number two here in the second quarter. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. A gain of two. Brings up second and eight. Throwing on second and eight. Trubisky. Again has it complete. Trubisky's and he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into here. enemy territory. 11 yards there. First down. Bears first down. On first down. It's Patterson. And he's taken down inside the 30. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. It seemed like a couple sets of eyes were on the quarterback, so he decided, hey, I'm going to hand this off. Got a good gain out of it. And you know you need good blocking up front in order to gain yardage, but every one of these RPOs, if you do it right and they look the same, whether it's handed off inside or the quarterback keeps it, that allows you to fool the defense so often. And in this case, fool them with the inside run. Here's Patterson. And this time they were ready for him as he's taken down at the line of scrimmage. 
scrimmage. Brought down by Trave. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Brings up second and ten. Off the play fake. Here's Trubisky. They'll roll him out right. And he's going to keep it here. It's a nine-yard pickup on the play, and just like that, it's third down. Collins makes the tackle. A gain of nine brings up third down. Third and two. Now Trubisky. The target was up for the challenge through the air. They force a fourth down. That's been a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts. This time on third down. The kick by Pinheiro is good. And the lead moves to 10 zip. Lions nothing. So that's a seven-play drive that ultimately stalls out there at the end. And things were a little leaky in the beginning on that drive, weren't they? But how about the front seven? As they got closer to the goal line, they stiffened a little bit, forced the field goal. And able to get this out to the 25. At their own 25-yard line. And we remind you, lots more to come here in this opening weekend of the Return to Football 2020. Coming up later tonight, it's the national debut of SoFi Stadium in Southern California. The Cowboys and the Rams doing battle there. And then two more to finish off the week on Monday Night Football. The Steelers and Giants from MetLife Stadium and the Titans and Broncos from Mile High. have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately, had an alert teammate who was able to get it. So they keep the football, but now face second and long. A shotgun snap for Stafford. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. It's caught. Jones. Excellent job right there on third down. Like, 
defense. You never want to let them get anything started. And that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And the Lions will take over. Back onto the field comes the offense. Let's take a closer look at Carrion Johnson. They've given him some touches. They haven't had a lot of success on the ground. Do you maybe keep going to that well, or do you mix it up more? I think you mix it up more, try to loosen things up, get the defense to react to other people, other plays, but don't forget about it. That's your horse. You know, Secretariat lost twice in his career. <laughs> so educational. That's very true, kids. Look it up. Throwing again on second down. Stafford, and he's got Amendola on the connection. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. The start for them near flawless. Defense gets him a three and out. Two quick pass connections on offense. So that's how a team works together. Just what you described. Get them the ball, give them a little momentum, and they're capitalizing off of that. Thanks a lot, guys. And he'll go down. The Bears get there for the sack. Well, that's the second time he's been sacked so far in the first half. And if they have designs on having a big year, on going anywhere, they've got to find a way to keep him upright so they can throw the football. Second and 21. A lot of ground to cover. The final shot before the break. Stafford. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome back to football, everybody. We've got a full slate of 16 games here to start the new season. So let's take our first trip around the NFL. We'll begin up at U.S. Bank Stadium in Minneapolis. And they've gone to halftime with the Packers out on top. Equinemius St. Brown, a touchdown catch in that first half. From there, we're off to check out another game. And they have the lead in that one over the visiting Philadelphia Eagles. Terry McLaurin, a touchdown reception. Finally, we're off to Atlanta to check on the Falcons at home at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. And they trail in that ball game to the visiting Seattle Seahawks. DK Metcalf, a touchdown reception. In our game, it's been Mitchell Trubisky, who's looked sharp thus far. His guys lead, though by only a field goal. Still anybody's game. As we send it back to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Lions take over first and 10 at their own. The Lions team. offense now with a football first here to begin quarter at number three. They're down here, but very much in this game. What's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back, and he'll be out of bounds the pick up there and it's a first down so they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33 33 yard line now it's Stafford and the pressure gets to him and brings him down Stafford is sacked Khalil Mack able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon and there's a familiar sight Khalil Mack putting a quarterback down in the backfield for another sack I know he only had eight and a half sacks in 2019 so a lot of people wrote that off as, hey, what's going on with Khalil Mack? You do realize he's getting doubled and tripled on just about every snap, but that was the first time since his rookie year of 2014 that he finished the season with less than 10 sacks. 
And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Out of the gun, Stafford. He completes it to Jones. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. To Marvin Jones. It's a gain of seven. Brings up third and 13. Third and long, it's Stafford. Pressure, and he's taken down. who knew how to rush the passer, they would just tell you, just cover people for me just long enough for me to get there. And that's exactly what happened on that play. Here comes the Lions punter now. As he'll come on to kick this one away. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. And a fair catch taken back near about the 35, 36-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And that will come the offense as they take over. So here are the Bears now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. Now how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and gratitude by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. A Chicago first down there on a gain of 11. You don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play, he joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on it. Defensively, a solid response after giving up back-to-back -back first downs. And we're at the 41, second and nine. Now this one over the middle, into the hands of his tight end, complete. And he gets it down to the 32. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. First down, Chicago. Now Trubisky on first down. And he completes this into the hands of Miller. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. A Chicago first down there on a gain of 11. First down, Bears. They'll throw on first down with Trubisky. This is caught by Robinson. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves a two to go on second down. To Allen Robinson. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. Second and two. At the 13 yard line. It's a jet sweep. Here comes Miller. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Tracy Walker on the tackle. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. From the gun, it's Trubisky. And Gens got it. And he's able to get this down to the five yard line before he's out of bounds. Away. 
It's good to make it 17-7. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it ends with a three-yard scoring run. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. Jamal Agnew now to return it. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Lions take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. Detroit's offense ready to take over. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense. Get a couple of first downs and hopefully flip the field. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. First down. It's funny, partner. You often hear how tough it is for a rookie receiver to adjust to the NFL. I think the same is true for tight ends. You're asking them to do a lot in the NFL game with the additional block that many of them didn't have to do in college. And TJ Hawkinson, he was a number eight overall pick in 2019 and had a good rookie season with 32 catches. I expect that number to go way up as he gets more comfortable in the NFL game. A nice catch right there. You can see this quite a bit on running plays with the guys out wide. A lot of times it doesn't get caught. You're exactly right because it's away from the play usually. So a lot of it goes undetected. But I know this is surprising. I took some receivers in the offseason. For 16 in the first. 48 yard line. This will be third and five. Brings up third. He's got his man. It's caught for a high touchdown. Danny Amendola there to make the grab. And the Lions have got it back to a one-score game. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it's a two-step deal. Boom, put his foot on the ground and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch and the score. And this is up and good to make it a 17-14 game. See, that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And the end result, a Detroit touchdown. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. 
And this will make it into the end zone. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. And now the Bears coming out as they get ready. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. Just week one, but already plenty of intrigue with the games going on, and this one no different as we come up on a first and 10. Yeah, it's a four-yard loss. Really sets them back now for second down. Brought down back at the 21-yard line. Second and 14. Here's Trubisky. And he finds his tight end, Graham. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. Jimmy Graham. 12 yards on the play. But it's third down. Third down. Patterson. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. It's a gain of seven. First down, Chicago. Well, they didn't accomplish their goal. They didn't get a stop there. Gave up another first down. They have all three timeouts in their pocket. I think defensively, you've got to start thinking about using them here. I was just going to ask you, at what point do you think now's the go time? I think now's the go time. I don't think you sit back and wait because they can take a lot of time off the clock between plays and run three to four and really put you in a stressful spot. Jimmy Graham, the intended receiver. But it'll be second down. So second down and 10, once again, they'll go to the 40. turnover some good games going on in the early window this might be the best of the bunch and he'll go down the bears get there for the sack khalil mack who else he's in there for his fourth sack of the afternoon brandon i think you understand the type of afternoon this offensive line is having it is a long one for them long for you to spend it with me long for them <laughs> to block those guys they've given up a whole lot of sacks and the speed and quickness that defensive line is eating them alive to try again after the sack. Stafford, and it's caught here. Aaron Dole. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Complete to Denny Amendola. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back. But now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. This a big play for both sides. What will we see here? Third and four. From the gun, here's Stafford. And he'll find Gallon and it's complete. And inside the 20 before it's brought down. A good game again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. The ball carrier. In on the stop, the former Georgia Bulldog, Roquan Smith. One-yard game. Brings up three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. showing the shotgun, then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. And the 13-year man puts it 
Johnson. And with a little more than a minute to go, we are all tied. Well, we knew this had the potential to be a tight game, but with less than three minutes to play, couldn't be any tighter. We're all tied. All locked up, right? And this next drive is going to tell us everything we need to know about this game because I want to see how they come out with the football. Are they going to be aggressive and attack downfield? You still got the two-minute warning to come up. Are they going to be conservative and try and hold on and maybe just get to overtime? And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. They've got work to do, but they do still have a bit of time here. And they've got to feel comfortable with that, but they have all their play sequences called. If they get out of bounds, that allows them to huddle and call another play, but if they don't, it's hurry up to the line of scrimmage and either spike it and stop the play. Or to their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Now a handoff, Johnson. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. They go to Johnson again. And not much running room. Down to the 32. Now the Bears will use their third and final timeout as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in the fourth. Yard attempt. And this one is right down Broadway. But hang on, a flag is down. Now if it's on the defense, they might decline it and take the points. So they elect to decline it. Why not? Just go ahead and let the play stand, and they'll take that. Prater now will send it away following the main field goal. Takes this about five yards deep. And with time a factor here late, he'll just take a knee, and they'll put it out to the 25. And getting set to go again, here's the Lions defense. They've got a situation where a field goal ties it. How do you defend this? Because you obviously don't want to give up the touchdown. How aggressive do you get? That's always the key, isn't it? Where is the line on aggressiveness to over-aggressiveness? And I think most coordinators are looking at it like run your regular defense, add some pressure packages, because really the 35-yard line is the one you really want to defend. At that point, you're thinking you're probably giving up three. Anything outside of that, you think you've got a chance to win. Give him 18 yards on that one. And it'll result in a fresh set of downs. And Graham's got it. Complete. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. So this one's over. It's a win for the Detroit Lions. And with that, our journey begins, Charles. Week one in the books. Going to be a great season. Oh, man, so much to look forward to. Isn't it nice to get a really good game right out of the gate? Preseason behind us. All these games count now, don't they? Yeah, this is the exciting time with just one week gone and plenty of weeks to come. So for Detroit, it wasn't always pretty, but they do eke out the week one victory here by a field goal. And they will hit the road next week for a date with the Green Bay Packers. Meanwhile, for the Bears, they obviously fall to 0-1 with the defeat. And they will be at home next week to take on the New York Giants. I'm Brandon Gunn. Certainly have to thank Charles Davis, my broadcast partner, and our entire crew. We'll catch you next time right here. It's the NFL on EA Sports.